So this is this is a post tail. <laughs> so it's beautiful. We used to use this to play with as children. We have spin it on so we have long hair in the back in those days. The island of Jamaica has more than 3,000 species of flowering plants, both native and naturalized, and the chenille plant is one of them. The chenille plant is a tropical shrub and an annual plant, commonly known as pustail in Jamaica, and a red hot cattail, monkey tail, or red cattail in other countries due to its flaming red flowers, which also have a stark resemblance to a cat's tail due to its long, slender, foreign bristles. However, the scientific name for puss tail is Acalypha hispida. Bearing flowers which are downy and soft like a cat's tail, the plant is commonly used as an ornamental in gardens on the island. Pustail has also been used as a plaything by young children in Jamaica for the kids, especially girls who usually stick it in their hair as a representation of long braids. Alright, so this is a pustail. <laughs> so it's beautiful. We used to use this to play with as children. We have spin it on so we have long hair in the, back in those days. But it's a medicinal plant and I'm gonna do a little bit of detail. I'm gonna talk a bit about the, the pustel and what the, what the uses are. What many people may not know is that this plant has numerous medicinal properties. The leaves are laxative and diuretic and are used in the treatment of leprosy and gonorrhea according to a research paper titled Anti-Inflammatory and Antioxidant Activity of a Califa Hispida Leaf and Analysis of its Major Bioactive Polyphenols by HPLC. The paper, which was published in the Advanced Pharmaceutical Bulletin Journal, noted that different parts of pustail are also used in infectious diarrhea and for pulmonary problems and as an expectorant in asthma. Pustail has been reported to have various pharmacological activities such as anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, hypoglycemic, antimicrobial, and antifungal activity. It also has a trypanocidal effect and free radical scavenging activities. A 2022 review article published in the World Journal of Biology, Pharmacy, and health sciences titled Traditional Uses, Phytochemistry, and Pharmacology of a Califa Hispida, a systematic review, noted that the plant is well known in traditional medicine and its parts which are utilized are the bark, flower, root, and stem. According to the study, Phytochemical investigation of the antioxidant and cytotoxicity or free radical scavenging activities of pustil's leaves and twigs have proven that the semi-pure compounds present in the fractions are useful potential sources of antioxidants and can be used in the therapy of diseases such as cancer, coronary heart disease, premature aging, and any other diseases related to oxidative stress. As for its constituents, pustail is proven to have saponins, flavonoids, phenols, steroids, carbohydrates, alkaloids, triterpenes, among other things. These constituents exhibit different medicinal and physiological activities, mainly flavonoids which are shown to have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory activity. In terms of its anti-cancer activity, according to the review article, constituents in pustail are also known to have antineoplastic activity. Antineoplastics are used to inhibit the growth and spread of cancerous cells and so combat the development of cancer. Antineoplastics are also used in chemotherapy to kill cancer cells 
and prevent their spread. Postel constituents are also said to have antithrombotic activity. According to the American Society of Hematology, antithrombotic therapy has reduced the risk of blood clots in leg veins, also known as deep vein thrombosis or DVT, a condition that can lead to death from pulmonary embolism, which is a clot that blocks an artery to the lungs by more than 70%. Pustale is also said to possess vasodilatory activity, meaning it prevents constriction of the blood vessels, which allow greater blood flow to various organs in the body. According to the University of Wisconsin's Horticulture Division, this evergreen plant can grow to 15 feet tall and 8 feet wide in suitable climates, but in containers will remain much smaller. Because pustales hanging flowers can get up to 18 inches long, the plants are best grown in hanging baskets or elevated containers where they can be planted in the ground, making great accent plants or dramatic specimens. Pustale needs bright, light, and warm temperatures to flower well. As a tropical plant, it does not like it when temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It rarely prefers temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It also needs to be kept moist but not wet and should never be allowed to dry out completely.